I love that this is an important conference focusing on solutions. We have big, big challenges, and with that will come big solutions, and we are already very aggressively pursuing. And the best way to get hard problems addressed is to one, bring them to the forefront, set goals, and get the brightest minds thinking about them, working on them, making progress. It's such a pleasure to see thinkers and leaders and doers from every sector gather together for understanding and for solutions. The exponential opportunity we have to create incredible quality food, quality blue jobs, move into a new blue economy, hope really is in the water. Access to clean drinking water should be a right, not a privilege of those who can afford it. The ability to make sure that everyone has a seat at the table, to ensure that they understand how to make changes inside of their community. Here in Miami, we don't have the luxury of putting our head in the sand and pretending like these problems don't exist. We need to address climate doom in the way that we communicate, in the way that we publish academic papers, in the way that we go about policy. This is an everyday challenge, every day, every week, every month, and every year. You know, this country was built to make big decisions and to push hard and to try and lead. We cannot do that as a house divided. We're feeding into it by allowing this to become the most partisan issue of our time when it should be the most unifying issue. I'm a Republican and I'm here to talk <laughs> climate. <laughs> the biggest insight we could all embrace is we are in charge now. Humans are in charge of the whole planet. We are stewards of the earth. If there's one thing climbers are all about, it's imagining improbable solutions and making them a reality. This is a moment of possibility, and it requires us to have a lot of courage. And when it comes to solving climate in our communities, we need to operate at the speed of trust. We should have a lot more urgency as a country. Why are we building any school or any public building for that matter that isn't net zero? I owe it to myself to test my views and what's the worst that could happen? I could change my mind. I think this is an opportunity for local government to illustrate what can happen when it's done right. Climate change is a borderless challenge. We all need to be working together to drive a positive impact on this world. We know what to do and we know how to get there. We need to roll up our sleeves and simply get to work.